This is my ghost story um, for the creative scavenger hunt created by Ink Press Productions and Moonlit. So I'm going to read slash tell this ghost story, my favorite one from when I was a kid, Taylor Poe. Shout out to Molly Dar for sending me this. I'll read the beginning and then I'll just tell the rest of the story. All right. A long time ago, an old man lived by himself in the deep, big woods. His cabin had only one room and that room was his parlor, his bedroom, his dining room, and his kitchen too. The old man had three dogs, kind of like this one. One was called Uno, one was called Eno, and the other was called Calico. One day, the man decided to go hunting to catch something for his supper. Here, 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 he shouted to his dogs, and they came bounding off the porch, eager for a chase. So what happens is the old man goes hunting. He sees something scary in the woods. It's got a big bushy tail, and he's so hungry, he doesn't care what it is. So he chops its tail off, the creature goes running, and he takes the tail home and cooks it up in his stew. Then every night for three consecutive nights, there's this scratching, this scratching on his door. And he, he sends his dogs out every night, one at a time, to try to catch whatever there is out there to keep him safe. And every night he hears this terrible sound, this, this scary, scary creature saying, Taily Po, Taily Po, I want my Taily Po back. Every night, every night he sends his dogs like this guy out to, to chase it away. And every night the dogs don't come back. So then the last night he has no dogs, no, nothing to protect him. And he hears it again, Taily Po, Taily Po. I know you have my Taily Po. And he has no dogs to send out. The old man hides under his covers. They're taken away by this terrible black fuzzy creature and it guts him. <laughs> and the man is never seen again. And it's much scarier if you just read the book. So recommend everybody finds this book on the internet. And that's all. Thank you for joining me at my campfire.